Okay, so in this video we'll go over the Q equals MC delta T equation. So we got Q, which is the heat transferred, equals M, the mass in grams, times C, the specific heat times the change in temperature. And remember the mass here is in grams. C is the specific heat. And that's in joules per gram degrees Celsius and the delta T is just change in temperature man this internet is really bad I feel, I feel bad for you guys can you even read this that's in degrees Celsius alright so let's do a problem so remember the last video we were just saying if I have this object Let's say it's two grams, and uh, say it has a specific heat of four joules per gram degree Celsius. All right, and that means that you need four joules to raise one gram of this stuff by one degree Celsius. But this thing is two grams, so we really need eight joules to raise it by one degree Celsius. Okay, so let's say it starts off at um, 20 degrees Celsius, so I'll call it TI, the initial temperature. And then let's say its final temperature is uh, still like 80 degrees Celsius. All right, and now I want to know, okay, this, this two gram thing went from 20 degrees Celsius to 80 degrees Celsius. How much energy did I have to add to it to get it to do that? Voila, we have an equation. Oh no. Man, this this is a uh, taking some getting used to. Alright. So we just gotta plug and chug on this. We're solving for Q, we're solving for the amount of energy. So I'll just plug in my mass here, it's two grams. Times the specific heat, four joules. per gram degrees Celsius times the change in temperature which is 80 degrees Celsius minus 20 degrees Celsius okay did some easy math here so I have uh, 480 joules And all this means is that um, to get this two gram block to go up by 60 degrees Celsius, right, from 20 to 80 degrees Celsius, you're going to need 480 joules of energy to do it. So I added 480 joules to it to get it to go from 20 to 80 degrees Celsius. And again, if we think through the specific heat, that should make sense. It's saying you need four joules per gram of this thing to go up by a degree Celsius. Okay. Well, I have two grams in it. So that means I really need eight joules for this whole thing to go up by one degree Celsius. I went up by 60 degrees Celsius. Okay. I needed eight joules for every one degree Celsius. I went up 60 degrees Celsius. So eight times 60 gives us 480 joules. Ta da! Another important note is that if we were going to do this the reverse way and just say that, um, say the final temperature were 20 degrees Celsius and the initial temperature were um, 80 degrees Celsius, right? So that is going from 80 degrees to 20 degrees, so it's really losing 60 degrees Celsius now. Well, the same thing applies. It just means that it lost 480 joules of energy. So just keep that in mind, that the signs can change around. 